everybody, it's Lexi. Um, I wanted to do a quick video um, on my do-it-yourself protein skimmer. I saw a bunch of do-it-yourself videos that actually didn't um, even show you how to do it yourself. So I kind of just took, I guess, looked at them or whatever and put something together myself. And guess what? It works. It might not be the best, but it works. And I used everything that I had already at home. Um, so anyways, oh, this is my little baby right here. This is my 30 gallon little tank. These right here are my do-it-yourself rocks and I cured them outside and everything. And they're perfect, it's two different rocks. There's one and then there's a big one. Um, oh, and then there's a little itty bitty one right there anywho oh look at that's my green spotted puffer i acclimated to salt water okay regardless um this is the skimmer it is basically the small uh or that long gatorade bottle i cut the bottom off the very bottom i put a hole for to stick the uh, air tube in with the limestone wood thing it's a I guess oceanic for the bio cube um, then I put two holes for suction cups to stick to the glass um, to get the air stone inside you basically stick the hose in and then pull it through the bottom and then stick the um, attach the air stone then you can just pull it push it up into the uh, skimmer and then pull the hose tighter so it won't be just dangling anyways um, from there, I took a regular 16 ounce water bottle and um, turned it upside down. I cut that, um, I probably cut about um, one third of it. Uh, yeah, I, I kept one third of it, the top one third of the bottle. Um, and I used electrical tape to kind of attach both of them together. As you can see, this is where they meet. The electrical tape is not in the water. Um, then I just took a Tupperware bowl that I had and cut a hole through that. That way the um, upside water bottle could fit inside. So um, that's kind of what I did. And I already cleaned the skimmer out last night. But as you can see, it's foaming. And to, in my opinion, it stinks. So I cleared it out. Um, and it's already collecting some nasty dirt around the, uh, edges there, but it's nasty and it stinks. Um, so anyways, that's what I did. I think this Tupperware bowl came from like some turkey or something that I bought from the grocery store. So, um, electrical tape, I did have to buy that, but it was only like 79 cents from the hardware store. Um, I'll probably go and get some silicone. That way I can retake the tape off um, because the lower this is, um, in, the deeper it goes into the water, the higher the bubbles get. So, but I don't trust the silicone, I mean the uh, electrical tape in the water. So, um, and then also when I cut it with scissors, cut the Tupperware bowl with scissors, um, it was kind of, it wasn't like a perfect circle. So that's why you can see the electrical tape down in the bottom on the outside um, to patch up any type of little holes to keep it from leaking. But, I mean, that's pretty much it, you know. Um, yeah, just the last time I actually made one before and it worked out great in my little 16 gallon uh, tank. And um, it was producing like a little red um, red bubbles and white bubbles and then oh you need a pump an air pump but um, my air pump is just the little cheap I think it was like ten dollar pump at Walmart and it works just fine um, if you to get the bubbles to work for you I guess you want to either raise the protein skimmer or lower it and then you'll I guess determine how much bubbles I guess it's going to make. I guess it depends on how deep your tank is. Because my um, 16 gallon. Um, I don't know. Was it? I think I had the uh, skimmer higher. 
and it worked perfectly but I'm finding that this one needs to be a little bit lower but I'm just going to go to the store and get the silicone which is like only three dollars from Lowe's and they have one that um, says reef safe on it so that's what I'm going to do to get the two bottles stuck together and then seal any type of gaps that is from the Tupperware in this little um, bottle but that's it and then after that you can either use the lid or aluminum foil or whatever I can't find the lid to this so um, I had aluminum foil on it but I just wanted to show you guys that it was making bubbles um, and I'll even show you how I lower it like when I lowered it I got some really see bubbles are just going everywhere and I only lowered it just a little bit but I prefer not to have the tape in my water so but it's they're still going over as you can see I mean I'm still getting bubbles and stuff it's just taking longer but I think I heard that's better because you'll get more dirt or something I don't know but anyways this is a basic little simple DUI I guess until you can really buy a big skimmer so and this is my little new tank and I have my lights coming in so it's kind of ghetto rigged right now from my old little 13, 16 gallon tank these are the little lights on here for now but my tank is my um, lights are coming this week so I'm glad and anyways I hope this helps a little bit it's really simple like I said it was just a little Gatorade bottle the tall skinny ones um, from whatever little gas station or wherever you get it from and that's it oh and the airstone I think I pay like four or five dollars from that from Petco but um all right you guys hope that works out for you guys um you know hope it helps some people and everybody needs to start putting instructions if you put a daggone D uh, I Y video online post instructions nobody wants to see what it looks like after the fact we're searching DIY for a reason all right anyways rate comment subscribe love you guys bye